When I first started on this journey over 20 years ago, I was studying the amazing healing powers of a unique blue-green algae and how it worked in the body. And what we discovered was that this blue-green algae was stimulating the release of stem cells that were then becoming new cells wherever they were needed, something that was at the time a complete breakthrough. Our findings went on to become part of one of the most important medical discoveries of our time, that stem cells are the body's natural repair system. And while the medical world began to focus on expensive and somewhat invasive treatments, nobody was looking at how to tap into the power of stem cells naturally present in the body. So I started to wonder what other eating plants around the world might have similar qualities. And after years of research, we found something extraordinary. Many of them triggered a significant increase of stem cells in the body. For as long as we know stem cells, they are precursors to blood cells. They mm. make your platelet, red right. blood cells, and, and lymphocytes. That's it, white blood cells. You that. And now a scientist documented that stem cells could become a brain cell. But then we found another one that documented that stem cells could become a heart cell. Then somebody else did a liver cell. So what I did is, by reading these articles, I thought, well, if they can become heart, liver, and brain, why not lung, kidney, pancreas, and the rest? It just makes so much sense, physiologically speaking. How can a stem cell become brain, heart, and liver, and not the rest? What mechanism would allow it to do those three and not the rest? Right. It makes no sense. Right. So it had to be the repair system of the body. So we published that idea in the scientific literature, and in the back of my mind was, that plants that leads to so many benefits in people, maybe that's how it works. It releases stem cells. I, I can tell you, at the time, when we talked to investors or scientists, or the investors liked the story but talked to scientists, the answer was unanimously, these guys are nuts. Right. This, this guy is crazy. This right. is not what's happening. So we went in the lab, we studied the plant, and we saw that that's what that plant was doing, triggering the release of stem cells from the bone marrow. And that triggered the, then the continuation of researching and, and other plants right. that could act, uh, act by, by stimulating stem cells. And what were some of those other plants? Plants that can grow in remote areas of the world. Here in Belize, for example, or Tibetan Plateau, South America, Madagascar. What do they do locally? Is there a plan that for them, it's like the go-to plan for any problem? And if I get the sense here that it looks like it could be a stem cell effect, then we basically take an extract and we go and test it in the lab. And we've tested like this seabuckthorn berry from the Tibetan Plateau, Alu macroglada from Madagascar, Ficoidan from some seaweed from, uh, from Tasmania, uh, Notoginsen from China. These are the main ingredients that we have now in stem regen. So these are all plant extract that work by triggering the release of stem cells from the bone marrow. So explain like if we had a graph uh -huh. and I put the pill in my mouth, like where is it going, how is it working? Well, the pill goes first into your stomach, uh -huh. then it goes into your intestine, uh -huh. it opens, it releases these, releases these plant extract. These plant extract goes into the bloodstream, and as they travel to the bone marrow, or for others, it's other mechanism of action, right. but they basically, it reaches the bone marrow and through various mechanism of action, s triggers the detachment of stem cells from the bone marrow matrix, and they get into the blood flow. So now when we count the number of stem cells with a machine called a flow cytometer, so you sit down at rest, we take a blood sample, we count the number of stem cells, you take these two pills, and then we count the number of stem cells an hour after, two hours after, three hours after, and we see the increase in the number of stem cells in your bloodstream. It's that simple. And so, and now that blood is gonna go to places Everywhere. that need the healing. The blood will go everywhere, these stem cells will go everywhere, but your, it's your repair system. So as, just like your immune system, if you have an infection on your finger, you release immune cells, they don't go to your nose, they go to your finger. Right. So you really, when you release stem cells, any area that has a problem signals. When stem cells goes into that tissue, it tells the stem cells you migrate here. So the stem cells leave the blood, get into the tissue. When that stem cells touches that tissue, it starts to multiply and it becomes cells of that tissue and it repairs.